To set up a lighting control, let's first go to the I.O. tab. We must pick an output that we want the lights to be controlled by. Let's pick output number 1. We'll change the name of output number 1 to lights. And then press the check mark. Once the data is sent to the controller, we'll see that the name has been updated. Next, let's go to the controls tab. In the top left corner, we'll see the light box. Let's click on day-night mode to bring up these settings. The controller has several different methods of determining day or night. The controller can synchronize day and night with the lighting on-off timer, with the light irradiance sensor, or with the light flip control function. When using the irradiance sensor settings, the day and night levels will determine when day and night begin. When utilizing a light flip control, the configuration will be dual zone. One zone will be in day while the other is in night. Additionally, the controller can activate an output during the day or night periods if selected. To use a standard lighting on off timer with 24 hour times, we'll select synchronize with lighting timer and hit the check mark. Lighting timers are divided into an A and a B bank. The A bank contains the 24-hour on and off timer, and the B bank is a delay timer, which operates after the A bank has been activated. This allows splitting your lights into two zones to reduce electrical loads. The B bank output can also be used to control any other device that should be operated when the lights are on or after the lights come on. To access the settings for the A bank, simply press the button. The lights time settings will be displayed. Select an on time and an off time. Finally, select an output that this on and off timer will control. Let's select number 1, which we previously named for lights. Finally, press the check button to send all the settings to the controller's memory. If the current time is within the on to off time, the lights will be activated and the controller will go into day mode. When we go to the monitoring tab, we will see that the mode has changed to day. When in day mode, the controller will use all of the functions that are in the day set points. Additionally, functions that are only allowed to operate during the day, such as CO2, will be allowed to operate. When the off time is reached, the lights will be turned off and the controller will enter night mode. Additionally, lighting outputs are protected by a short cycle delay timer. This hot fire delay, or short cycle time, prevents the lighting outputs from accidentally being turned on for a minimum set amount of time after they have been turned off. This is necessary with HID lights to prevent hot firing and potentially damaging the bulbs or ballasts. The B bank simply has a delay time in seconds and an output setting. The B bank will be activated after the delay time and will turn off when the A bank turns off. 